Mastering Security Projects Security leaders must prioritize one objective above all, aligning project goals with organizational strategy. Which primary objective of the security project should its leaders prioritize, and in what ways does it align with the organization's overall security strategy to ensure operational excellence? The security project, a complex beast indeed, like a rich tapestry, it's woven from many threads, people, processes, technology, and more. As I delve into the heart of this project, I'm reminded of a visit to the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. The grandeur of Monet's impressionist masterpieces, the intricate beauty of Rodin's sculptures, and the vibrant colors of Van Gogh's landscapes, all converged to create an experiential symphony. Similarly, the security project harmonizes disparate elements to produce a cohesive whole. In this project, the leader's primary objective should be to prioritize clarity. Clarity of purpose, clarity of communication, and clarity of process. Without it, the project becomes a cacophony of mismatched components, descending into chaos. I recall a meeting with a security team, where the project's scope was murky, and the goals seemed to shift like the wind. The outcome? Delays, scope creep, and a general sense of unease among team members. To achieve clarity, leaders must first understand the organization's overall security strategy. This involves grasping the threats, vulnerabilities, and risk tolerance of the organization. It's akin to understanding the brushstrokes, color palette, and composition of a masterpiece. By doing so, leaders can identify the specific security objectives that align with the organization's strategy. This alignment is crucial as it ensures that the security project supports the organization's overall goals, rather than operating in isolation. Now, let's take, for instance, a security project aimed at implementing a new intrusion detection system. The leaders must ask themselves, how does the system align with our organization's overall security strategy? What specific security objectives does it support? What are the key performance indicators, KPIs, that will measure its success? By answering these questions, leaders can ensure that the project remains focused and its outcomes are meaningful. Another critical aspect is the human factor. Security projects often involve diverse stakeholders, each with their own perspectives, skills, and biases. As leaders, it's essential to acknowledge and appreciate these differences, much like the various instruments in an orchestra. By doing so, leaders can create an environment where collaboration flourishes and each contributor feels valued. I recall a security project where a team member, an expert in cryptography, was struggling to communicate with the project manager, who lacked a technical background. The manager, however, recognized the team member's expertise and created a safe space for him to share his insights. This led to a breakthrough in the project, as the team member's input significantly improved the system's design. To foster this kind of collaboration, leaders can take several practical steps. They can establish open communication channels, encouraging team members to share their concerns, ideas, and expertise. They can also facilitate training and knowledge sharing sessions, ensuring that all stakeholders understand the project's objectives and their roles within it. Finally, leaders must recognize that security projects are dynamic, ever-changing entities. Like a masterpiece in progress, the project's requirements, threats, and technologies continually evolve. Leaders must remain adaptable, willing to adjust course when necessary, while remaining committed to the project's core objectives. As I navigate the complexities of the security project, I'm reminded of a conversation with a renowned artist. He said, A true masterpiece is not static. It's a living, breathing entity that transforms over time. Similarly, the security project is a living, breathing entity that requires leaders to remain attuned to its rhythms, to appreciate its beauty, and to nurture its growth. By prioritizing clarity, aligning with the organization's security strategy, appreciating the human factor, and embracing adaptability, leaders can ensure that their security project achieves operational excellence. It's a symphony of diverse elements, harmoniously converging to produce a masterpiece that enhances the organization's overall security posture. In the pursuit of operational excellence in security projects, 
leaders should prioritize the primary objective of risk reduction and mitigation as it aligns with the organization's overall security strategy. This objective focuses on identifying, assessing, and mitigating risks to minimize the likelihood and impact of security threats. To achieve operational excellence, security project leaders should implement a risk-based approach that integrates with the organization's overall security strategy. Firstly, security project leaders should conduct a thorough risk assessment to identify potential security threats and vulnerabilities. This involves analyzing the organization's assets, data, and systems to determine the likelihood and potential impact of security breaches. The risk assessment should consider various threat vectors, including external threats from hackers and insiders, as well as internal threats from human error or system failures. Once the risks are identified, security project leaders should prioritize them based on their likelihood and potential impact. This involves categorizing risks as high, medium, or low, and developing a risk mitigation plan to address the highest priority risks first. The risk mitigation plan should outline the specific controls and countermeasures to be implemented, as well as the resources and budget required to execute the plan. To ensure operational excellence, security project leaders should also establish a culture of continuous monitoring and improvement. This involves implementing a feedback loop that enables the identification of new risks, assessment of the effectiveness of existing controls, and refinement of the risk mitigation plan as needed. Continuous monitoring and improvement also involve tracking key performance indicators KPIs, to measure the effectiveness of security controls and identify areas for improvement. Another crucial aspect of achieving operational excellence is to ensure that security projects align with the organization's overall security strategy. This involves integrating the security project with the organization's broader security goals and objectives. For example, if the organization's overall security strategy focuses on protecting sensitive customer data, the security project should prioritize controls that mitigate the risk of data breaches. Additionally, security project leaders should establish clear roles and responsibilities, as well as communication channels, to ensure that all stakeholders are informed and engaged throughout the project. This involves creating a project charter that outlines the project's objectives, scope, and timelines, as well as identifying key stakeholders and their roles. Furthermore, security project leaders should ensure that the project is adequately resourced, both in terms of budget and personnel. This involves developing a comprehensive project budget that includes resources for risk assessment, risk mitigation, and continuous monitoring and improvement. The project team should also consist of skilled personnel with expertise in security risk management, threat analysis, and security control implementation. In terms of governance, security project leaders should establish a governance framework that ensures the project is aligned with the organization's overall security strategy and policies. This involves developing a project governance charter that outlines the project's objectives, scope, and timelines, as well as identifying key stakeholders and their roles. Finally, security project leaders should ensure that the project is delivered on time, within budget, and to the required quality standards. This involves developing a project schedule that outlines key milestones and timelines, as well as tracking progress against these milestones. The project team should also conduct regular quality assurance activities to ensure that the project meets the required standards. In conclusion, to achieve operational excellence in security projects, leaders should prioritize the primary objective of risk reduction and mitigation and align the project with the organization's overall security strategy. This involves conducting thorough risk assessments, prioritizing risks, and developing a risk mitigation plan that integrates with the organization's broader security goals and objectives. By establishing a culture of continuous monitoring and improvement, integrating the project with the organization's overall security strategy, and ensuring adequate resources and governance, security project leaders can deliver projects that meet the required standards and minimize the likelihood and impact of security threats.